Hey, hey, it's Leanne and Simon on Loving Life Now for today's topic, Making Sense of Your Mix. Hi. Hello. Good evening. Hi. You can talk. And welcome to our Facebook Live. As you join us, uh, let us know you're here, pop your name and uh, where you're streaming in from into the comments. We'd love to welcome you personally to this evening's Facebook Live coming to you from lockdown southeast Queensland. Yeah, we're in lockdown. <laughs> Ah, a couple of people sneezed and we've gone into lockdown. Maybe it was right. me. <laughs> well, I know Cheryl's in lockdown in Sydney, so she's got a two-week lockdown. Yes. That's much more um, severe than a couple of days. How are you, Cheryl? Um, so welcome to uh, our stream this evening. Pop your details in. Let us know where you're streaming in from. Um, lockdown Sydney, lockdown Brisbane, um, restricted Melbourne. Uh, Shani <laughs> says, welcome to lockdown. <laughs> thanks, Shani. Oh, thanks. <laughs> We're so excited. So excited to be in lockdown. Hey guys, nice to see you Four from day Perth. Lockdown. Four day lockdown in Perth. We've got a three day in Queensland. Um, Adelaide, welcome from Adelaide. So let us know that you've joined us. Pop your details into the comments. Hi from Mick and Bernie in Burley. Uh, Bernie is doing backflips on her own. <laughs> well, just make sure you're inside though, Bernie. Yes, keep in lockdown. Keep warm. Uh, good evening from Brisbane. Hello in lockdown, Brisbane. Hi from Newcastle. Well, they're not in lockdown. Jackie East. Welcome, <coughs> and good morning from Germany. Hello, Carolina. Sending you sunshine, good to hear again, yes. Such a, and lollipops. Enjoy lockdown, Uber Eats gets a workout, absolutely. Hi everyone from Adelaide, or Bridget's right in Adelaide. Uh, evening guys, hope you're well, we are well. Hi guys, uh, Jacinta Hello. and Darren coming to you from um, Victoria, welcome. David Miller, good evening from South Australia. Well, we do hope we can get to South Australia, but at yeah, the moment, the South Australia border is hard lock to Queensland, so um, we'll need that to move for us to get down there. Hello from Got Melbourne. Weeks, I've been doing with all states. What was that? Uh, Annette said, hello from Melbourne. I've been dealing with all states affected today. Stay well, absolutely. Uh, Karen, Karen says, hi guys, looking great from Brizzy. Yeah. Hello Karen in Lockdown Brisbane. Hi guys from Christine. Lake Macquarie. And won't talk about state of origin. That's a good idea, <laughs> yes, Christine. Let's, let's just forget that. Let's even happened. not talk about state of origin no. result. We'll forget. We'll forget. Um, forget. We are we are marooned <laughs> in our house. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Bernie. Hey, Michelle. Um, thanks for that tip. Hey, lovelies. Michelle says from the Gold Coast. Welcome, Michelle, from Lockdown Gold Coast. <laughs> Who else we got out there? Pop your details in. Let us know you're here. We've got a great topic lined up this evening, Lee. Making sense of your mix. Mm. We spoke about, um, what did we speak about last week about your mix? Fix your mix. Fixing your mix. Fixing your mix. Now you've got to make sense of now it. Now we're going to make sense of it. Hello from <coughs> Tassie. Hello, Susan in Tassie. You're about the only state in Queensland that's not I'm in sure lockdown. I'm sure you're nice and warm down there in Tassie too. <laughs> Uh, I think Tassie's the only one that, uh, well, Melbourne's got major restrictions. I think Tassie's probably one of the few places in the in the country at the moment Maybe. that doesn't have any restrictions. Yeah. Uh, Madeleine, good morning from East Sussex in the UK. Hello. Welcome to you from the UK. Uh, so pop your details in, let us know where you're streaming in from. We'll get our topic underway in a moment, Lee, what do you reckon? Making sense of your mix. Mm -hmm. How do you make sense of your mix after you've fixed your mix? I have no idea. Oh, that's what you're going to talk about, aren't you? That's what you're talking about. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, there's no lockdown in Auckland. That's awesome. Oh, there's no lockdown in Auckland. G'day, Glenn. Welcome. <laughs> and, uh, well, it's lockdown Australia at the moment, so uh, we're pretty much uh, all in lockdown, pretty um, much. Not everyone. Not everyone, but there's lots of restrictions going on. There's a couple of people sneezed and we've gone into lockdown. <laughs> <coughs> Lee's coughing. Cough. She's put us in the lockdown. <laughs> you can't go out and cough. Oh, we got we got that. mandatory masks back in place in Queensland. In, well, southeast Queensland. So, uh, welcome back to the Mask Brigade. Went to the yes, movies this morning with masks on. And came out of the movies and there was. Came out of the movies and the woman said, Oh, while well, you've been in the lockdown. movies, we're going into lockdown, 6 pm, just to advise. So, oh, thanks for that. Thanks. All right, so last week, Lee, we covered Fix Your Mix and we mm -hmm. spoke about um, uh, our mix being our past experiences in life. Yeah. And how we could put it on a timeline, a graph. We spoke about that and how to look at your mix, right? Yeah. So positive impacts in your life and the negative ones, you know, you got attacked by the cat. Um, do you remember that? No. <laughs> You've moved past it? I have. Well, that's what we're here to talk about is making sense of your mix. Right. So we can, we can help you overcome the cat attack. Uh, I think we need to help you overcome the dog attack more <laughs> the than anything. dog attack. <laughs> All right. Well, we spoke about both those last week. So um, 
we, we and we we talked about the timeline exercise about putting mm. positive impact things on your timeline negative impact things on your timeline over your life cats tell says good evening awesome peeps I'm happy to dodge the lockdown and the sneezes. Good job, Kat. Good job down there in Bunbury. Um, see, you're just, you're just out of the Peel region, is that right? So therefore, you, uh, you don't come into it. Lucky, lucky you. All right, so we, uh, we're going to talk about six steps that you can take to making sense of your mix. Oh, it's a six-step process. It's a six-step process. So there's six points about making sense of your mix. And point number one, Lee, is what? Create the space. Create the space. Mm -hmm. All right, so you've got to create the space. Now, what does that mean? It means just decide to do the work and create space. Mm -hmm. And we've spoken recently um, on one of our uh, company training things about, you know, creating space. So getting rid of yep. old things, making way for new things. And cleaning out the wardrobe so you can buy new clothes. Yeah. Yeah. What, are you going to do that again? You just buy new clothes without cleaning it out now. What are you talking about? <laughs> Clean out my closet. <laughs> clean out your closet. Yeah. You still got a bit of cleaning to do in that closet. Yes, I you, do. Yep. Yeah, yeah. There was mm -hmm. things that were put back in there and we said, you will get to those. Yeah. That was a couple months ago. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe lockdown weekend, maybe this weekend could be a task. <laughs> could be a good task. Maybe. All right. So, um, so you've got to create the space, right? So out with the old, in with the new. Sell it, donate it, give it away, do whatever you need to do, create the space. And it creates changes in your life on multitudes of level. Um, how do you feel about yourself? How do you feel about yourself when you do these things? How does it make you feel when you clean out your wardrobe and awesome. get rid of some stuff and give it to charity, give it to Salvos? Awesome. How does it make you feel awesome? Mm -hmm. hmm. And then uh, why do you feel awesome? Because I know I'm going to buy new stuff to fill it now. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, and of course you can you can take stock of your physical health too. Mm -hmm. So you can get rid of things in your mind and things it's that you cough. do that are not good for you, like eating Tim Tams at night. Oh, you're the one that does that. What? <laughs> Bringing out chocolate. He, he can eat a hot, like half a packet minimum of Tim Tams. He can't just have one. He's got. You can't like just have one packet. Tim Tam. You can't have one Tim Tam. It's true. That's him. <laughs> so you <laughs> so you can do things about your physical health. And I'm thinking I'm starting to get a bit of a winter coat on at the moment. Mm, I think so. Huh? There's all those Tim Tams. <laughs> really? All right. And the, and, uh, and the, the coolness. See, it's, yeah. it's not inspiring to go and exercise when it's cold. Greg agrees. Greg agrees. Good on you, Greg. See, I literally can't eat half a packet. <laughs> I physically can't. No. So. But you can't just eat a couple either. You've got to eat more than a couple. No. Look, Shani's with me. She wants to agree. I reckon What two. are you agreeing on, Shani? Are you agreeing on the Tim Tams or the winter weight? I reckon, or, I reckon I don't know. two. Two Tim Tams um, is good. And that says it makes you feel good. Yeah, I agree. Well, until Tim later Tams. when you weigh yourself. <laughs> till I get on the scales the next day. All right, so your physical health, um, your lifestyle. You can create changes in your lifestyle mm -hmm. about what you do, mm -hmm. about whether you're going to get up and get out of bed in the cold and go for a walk. Yeah. Um, Shani said, I think, Tim, Tim Tam, was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Four Peggy, at a time. Four at a time. <laughs> Peggy. See? She's, see going to, everyone, she's going a third of the packet. <laughs> Everyone's on the same page. Totally agree with, uh, with the Tim Tams. Darren's there with me. Right. Excellent. So we got a, we got a Tim Tam. So fan. next time if we've got friends over, we need to buy like four packets rather than yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. So there's enough. We for bought Tim to have Tams half a um, out late at our um, 250k party, didn't we? No. Late at night? We didn't. We didn't have Tim Tams. Didn't Tams, we? Though. Oh. Oh, we bought them for State of Origin, mm -hmm. the first game. Mm. Yeah. Because you've got to have. Or was it the second? Oh, second game. We bought them. So we had uh, we had party pies, sausage rolls, and spring rolls, and, and Tim Tams. Tams. <laughs> That's good footy food. Anyway, so let's talk about creating the space so we can create the space in our physical health, our lifestyle, and of course our financial mm -hmm. success. Do right? a Tim Tam party. <laughs> That'd be good. Um, you can bring all. I really like the dark chocolate ones. No caramel. Dark chocolate Tim Tams. Caramel. They're the best. Double dark chocolate. Oh, they're so good. No. Nah. So good. So he'll buy them from now do you on know, so he gets them all to himself. Do you know it goes really well with dark chocolate Tim Tams? Red wine. Uh, but that's not that's not that's not <laughs> We won't food. talk of origin. No, we won't. That food? Let's not talk about origin. All right. So so the first thing is create the space. The second thing of the six steps to making sense of your mix is have patience. Mm -hmm. You've got to have patience yes. about about your mix, right? So what, what, what do you mean by you've got to have patience, Lee? What does that mean? You've got to give yourself time. Give yourself time. Mm -hmm. Give yourself time for what? That's what you need to do. Right, okay. Give yourself time mm -hmm. and be kind to yourself. Yes. Yep. 
Because it's no good beating yourself up, is it? Now, Darren's with me. Look, red wine. Yes, see? Okay, yes, yes, double chocolate. Bridget. <laughs> you guys are double fans. Double chocolate's fine, but it's are... not dark chocolate. It has to be milk chocolate. Yeah, no, no. Milk chocolate's too sweet. You, you don't, <laughs> doesn't bother you eating half a packet of Tim Tams. No, not if they're caramel ones. <laughs> It's still milk chocolate. Yeah, uh, what's this? A bite, one into a Tim Tam. Drink your cup of through it. Oh, I've done that. My daughter swears it's the best thing ever. Oh, I've ha I've done that, Juanita, and it is amazing. It's a great experience. I don't something like, everyone I don't like should do. If I had a hot chocolate, I might do hot it. Hot chocolate, you could do it with something. Everyone should do at one stage in their life. I agree. Okay, buy me a hot chocolate tomorrow. All right. I can't. I'm not allowed to go out. You can. It's you not can. an essential service. I can guarantee. Okay, who agrees with me? Do we that think Zarafas will be open, open tomorrow? <laughs> I think they will. We got a Zarafas down the bottom of the hill, and I'm thinking, could I go to Zarafas and get a hot drink tomorrow morning? Yep. Take away. Or are they going to be closed? What do you reckon? T tell me in the comments. Give us, give us the Somebody's in lockdown. Logo. I mean, is Zarafas? Charlie's going the best thing. Well, that's a Tim Tam. But tell us if um, if you think Zarafas will be open. Yes, takeaway. Takeaway, Brett See? says. Oh, all right, maybe. All right, if I drive down there, Brett, and they're closed. It's your fault. <laughs> um, Zarafas open. Bernie goes, Zarafas are open. I don't know. What did you Google it, Bernie? Home delivery. <laughs> It'd be good to get a home delivery, Zarafas. I guarantee they'll be open. All right, well, let's go back to our uh, making sense of your mix. So step number three, takeaway is okay. All right, good. All right, so take, um, making sense, num the third step to making sense of your mix is allow what comes up. Mm. Now, what does that mean? What are we talking about here? So we, we're talking about putting events on a timeline, mm -hmm. right? And when we put events on a timeline, Lee, um, things are going to come up, aren't they? Like they're gonna, yeah. Things are going to trigger you, mm -hmm. yeah? A bit like um, whether it was the best day of our wedding or whether, what was the other thing you were trying to you tell me? Bringing compare? Stuff up. What are you trying to compare to our wedding? Earning 250000 a month, you were trying to say that, you are trying to say that that was, <laughs> can't believe it. Oh, I was scarred yeah, for a week. Oh, I'm whatever. Like, oh my God. I said it was up there, I didn't say it was better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you said, it, well, you said it was there. It was there. And I said number nine out of 10, and our wedding was 10. All right, so allow what comes up, right? It can trigger things. So don't judge what comes up. Mm -hmm. I'm not judging you. You for, are judging. I'm not judging you. Keep you. bringing it up. <laughs> I'm just allowing what comes mm. up. Don't judge. <laughs> I'm exploring the mix. It says don't judge. Now it says don't resist or deny, right? <laughs> so don't resist. <laughs> don't deny. Don't resist or don't deny. Um, Did and, you write this for me? Yeah, yeah. Look for patterns in your mix. Yeah. So look for patterns of... I see um, a big pattern. <laughs> What's the pattern? You're picking on me. No, no, no. No, the picking patterns are me, all these the positive. I have all these positive life mm. events in my life. Oh. Yeah, the negative ones, they don't rate. Right. <laughs> don't all rate. the positive ones since we got together, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look for patterns. Look for issues. I don't I don't need to look for issues. See, see, as you as you work harder on yourself, you realise that you don't allow things that have happened in your past to dictate your future. Mm -hmm. Would you agree with that? Yes. Yep. Because um, we can get stuck in drama glue. Mm, it's very you know, sticky, that stuff. It is. If you think about you're walking along a path and you're getting stuck in all this glue on the ground, right? That's that's what it's like. If you're carrying around this baggage and this drama from previous in your in your life, then you need to get over it. Just get over you it. You do. You've got to get, get over it. it and move on. You've got to move on and focus on these move positive right aspects of what's going on. So allow what comes up. Um, concentrate on high impact events, mm -hmm. high impact events, and move towards reducing the significance <coughs> of those things that bother you. Mm -hmm. The things like the dog attack and the mm -hmm. cat attack. Mm -hmm. right? Was there other things that bothered you and your that we spoke about last week? Do you recall? Was there anything um, else? I don't remember. That was last week. <laughs> that was last week. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So when you when you judge others, you. Do define not define them. You define yourself. yourself yeah. yeah, good. Good analogy, drama glue. It is. It's a great analogy. Chris so, said, just accidentally got on this live stream. Hey, entertaining, slightly nuts and it's, inspiring. Congrats on your uh, astounding 250K achievement. Looking forward to the day we can meet you at a live event. Cool, Chris. Awesome. Thanks, Chris. Nice Thanks to have you here. Accidentally jumping on. <laughs> <laughs> accidentally stumbling across us. <laughs> Um, all right, so, so we don't want to get stuck in the drama glue, right? Yeah. But allow that what comes up. So if you've got to explore some things that have held you back in your previous life, mm -hmm. previous past, right? Allow them to come up, deal with them, and move on from them. 
Yeah. Yeah. All right. So take small steps forward. This is step number four mm -hmm. to the topic. Take small steps. <laughs> take small steps. All right. So tackle the best thing for you. Mm -hmm. So whatever it is on your mix, on your timeline, tackle the best thing for you. Okay. And then small issues, handle them. Get them handled. Get, Get them, them handled. Done. Small issues, just handle them. Count your wins. Why do you need to count your wins? Because it makes you feel inspired and excited to keep going. Yep, absolutely. And then move on and go next. And then your wins become cumulative. Mm -hmm. All right? They build up. You start to build a pattern of wins. So you start to feel good about what you're achieving. Mm. You feel good about what's going on in your life. You're starting to count these little daily wins and... They add up, right? Yeah. They add up. Um, assist in chipping away. So chip away at little chip, things. Chip, chip, chip. Yep, but in a positive way, right? Chip, chip. <laughs> Give them a little axe. A one little small step stuff. at a time. Take one small step at a time. And don't feel you need to climb the entire mountain. Oh, not all at once? No. Oh. Don't feel you need to climb the entire mountain. Just focus on one small step. Man? No, at a time. No, that's, that's on the moon. <laughs> that's right. One small step at a time. All right. So that's number four to making sense of your mix. Now, number five, Lee, making sense of your mix. Number The fifth step to making sense of your Build mix. Build on small distinctions. All right. Build on your small distinctions. Um, and... Small distinctions build to become large realisations. Mm. So I'll say that again. Small distinctions build to become large realisations. Do you agree with that? Yes. Yeah, I do. So you have these large realisations, but mm. you've got to build small things along the way, right? Small yep. distinctions. You have little little distinctions along the way, but then all of a sudden it, it's like a light bulb goes off mm. in your head. So it becomes a large realisation. Well, every realisation does not have to be earth shattering. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's lots of things that could be earth shattering. Okay, moving right along. <laughs> All right. So we've got uh, every realization doesn't have to be earth shattering. Create breakthrough moments. Mm -hmm. So create breakthrough moments, right? So we're talking about building on small distinctions. So create a breakthrough moment. If you have a breakthrough, celebrate it. Count mm -hmm. it as a win, remember? Yeah. So um, create those breakthrough moments. Now, subtle shifts. When we take when we create subtle shifts, what does it equal, Lee? Wins. Wins. And what do you got to do with your wins? Count them. Count them. Count your wins. And that keeps you moving forward, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Awesome. All right. So number six, the sixth step to making sense of your mix is... Do drum roll. the thing. Do the thing. What are we talking Just do about? do the thing. Do the is thing. Is there a song like that? Do the thing. What's the thing? I'm Put not sure what's the thing. <laughs> you tell me. All right. Well... We want to work on the ratio of positive things and negative things, mm -hmm. right? So as we, um, as we create experiences, we want to have seven positive high-impact events to one negative impact event. Okay. All right? So we want, to get, we want to build that ratio. So we want to reduce the amount of uh, negative impact events that we allow into our life. Mm -hmm. And you can allow negative impact events into your life, right? Yes. All right. So um, like today, we came out of the movies and the woman said to us, oh, well, you've been in the movies. Um, <coughs> South East Queensland's going into lockdown for three days. Mm -hmm. So what could you have felt in that moment? Pissed off. Yeah. And what else could you have done? Like, oh. what, what could you, how could you have reacted besides being pissed off? Oh, thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a bit OTT. <laughs> All right, so, so you come out of the movie, somebody's, to, like... so, somebody's told you that you're, uh, that you're going into lockdown for three days. But um, the biggest thing is, is like you said, it's, it's how you allow it. So do you allow it as a negative impact event or do we create a positive impact event? Mm. Well, we don't allow it to become no. a negative, right? No. So we turn it into a positive. What can we do? We, we had plans to go out to dinner Thursday night with the kids. We had a restaurant booked. I had a girls weekend booked. Yeah. So what did we decide to do about dinner? Cancel it. And do what? Uber Eats. Uber Eats. Just like Cheryl said. We'll just order Uber Eats and we'll have a, we'll have a, a restaurant night in the house mm. from Uber Eats, right? So um, thank God for Uber Eats. 
um, or Deliveroo or um, Menu Log or whoever you use. Yeah, DoorDash. We have DoorDash here. Uber Eats is not a big thing here on the Gold Coast. Their um, DoorDash is a big one. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, so by by focusing on seven positive high impact events to one negative, you're creating a more powerful ratio, and this will diminish the negative influences that come up in your life because you're focusing on greater, more, um, more highly um, impact, high, high value impact mm -hmm. events, right? Okay. So this is about doing the thing. <coughs> so you've got to observe what goes on, diminish the negative influences. And how do you overcome the negative influences? What, you know, if you've got negative stuff going on in your head, what's a really good way that you can get rid of it out of your head? Journal and write it down. Journal and write it out. And is that a good habit for people to create? Yeah. Yep. Yep. So if you've got stuff that's bothering you, um, you know, events of the day that are, you've, you know, that are that are taking up mind space, mental power in your mind, journal it out, write it out, right? Write the date down and just write that crap out. Write that crap out. <laughs> just get rid of it, out of the mind, and um, observe how you feel once you've got rid of it, mm -hmm. right? So observe it, but then create a habit out of this. So like if you if you're challenged by things, just write it out, put it in a journal, date it. Um, and um, go from the head to the hand, from the head to the <coughs> hand, and uh, and keep doing this again and again, and create a habit out of it. Mm -hmm. And that's that's about doing the thing, right? So doing the thing, Do we're focusing thing. on positive impact situations, reducing the amount of negative impact situations that we allow. Um, but if things are bothering us, journal it out. All right. So here it says life is not just about the good things, or not just about the bad things. It is both. It all depends. Where, you're, where you focus your, and I'm thinking it's going to be attention. Um, yes, it is. Your attention. Yeah, well, it is, but um, it's how we handle those situations too. So focusing your attention, I agree, but it can be how we actually react. So um, sometimes two people can be faced with the same situation. Mm -hmm. And Lee, can the outcome be different for both? Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So it's not just about attention. It's about how we respond. Um, or the focus that we give it. So um, I've got a quote here I want to read. Success seems to be connected with action. Successful people keep moving. They make mistakes, but what do they do? Don't quit. They don't quit. All right, so I'll read again. Success seems to be connected with action. Successful people keep moving. They make mistakes, but they don't quit. And that's, uh, you know, that's a great way to empower yourself to keep moving forward. So tonight's topic, again, was all about making sense of your mix. So empowering yourself to focus on good situations mm -hmm. and uh, reducing those negative ones. And we've talked about six steps to making sense of your mix. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No. Anything else to, uh, to talk about on that one? Um, I think that was it. I think that's it. Well, that's it for us, and we are um, we're into we're into a three day lockdown. So, and you had to cancel a weekend away. You're going away yeah. Friday afternoon. I was. Can't maybe do that no you, more. Maybe you attracted the lockdown. You didn't want me to go. Oh, that's what it was. <laughs> I put it out to the universe. Yeah. Yeah, put it out to the universe, mm -hmm. and see the universe delivers. Whatever you focus on, focus becomes well, thoughts become things, right? Yeah. Yeah. It does. Um, so what else? What else is coming up? So you're not going away this weekend now. So uh, we'll be home, and um, we've got the kids for the rest of this week. Yep. And uh, and then next week we're um, kidless. Yeah. And uh, what else is going on? Anything else? We've got some we've got some big uh, big announcements coming up in our company this week. Maybe. Maybe you need to be on the streams on Thursday. Maybe. Um, so Thursday uh, live stream for our online business. There is going to be some big announcements, so don't miss that one. Tomorrow, uh, there's a great stream coming up. And, of course, Friday, there's that really good stream coming up as well, an interview. Mm. Yeah, so lots of things happening in our business this week. Um, stay tuned for that one. And, uh, Lee, anything else you want to wrap it up and tie a bow on? I think that's it. On so the mix? we'll see you guys uh, same time next week. Same time next week. Thanks for joining us, and we'll be back same time, same channel. That channel. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Have Bye. a lovely evening. Stay safe at home. <laughs>